tell me the story. You, you needed a crown. I needed a crown. You were. I really wanted to come to you, but my husband was like, we can't afford that. So then I go to Pinnacle Dental Group, and they schedule me for an appointment for a crown. Yep. Um, they, you already told me that my tooth was very thin in the back. Yes. And so when I heard felt her shaving, I could just feel like the, the gun that she was hitting, and I was like, oh, okay. Sure. Um, and then they put my temporary crown on, and as soon as the shots wore off that they put in my mouth, it was just like really bad pain yeah. killing me so i tried to tough it out and then the weekend came <laughs> my crown popped off and it hurt even and worse. it hurt even worse yeah, right. it was ex worse than childbirth and okay. then they wanted to send me to a specialist to do a root canal today and the crown was prepped what a week ago yes you had no problems with this prior never i had a crack in it but i've never had pain in any of my teeth like this ever. understood point to where it hurts right now would you it, it's inside my mouth uh -huh. It well, if I'm pointing to the outside, it's like right here. Okay. Ten's kidney stones. It's an eight. Is it lingering or is it going away quick? It goes. Uh, it's still there. Still there. Still an eight. Now it's it's going away. It's going away. Good. See, that's that's kind of a good sign. Okay. Let's say it was lingering, lingering. It wouldn't go away. I'd freak and say, yeah. That for was sure, on root. Sunday when I had the crown off and I tried to swig some water just to make sure nothing got into it. Yeah. That was like unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> now you see I haven't been inside what they did to your tooth. It could be that the tooth the nerves been exposed. You know, anytime you cut a tooth that deeply, you know, they did a traditional crown, we would have done something less invasive. Yeah. You know, the nerve could have been clipped. Anytime you cut a tooth excessively though, the tooth can die. This could be a root canal problem. Okay. But it could also there's about, I don't know, one in four chance we could have something coming in from that other part of the nervous system stuff. So we're going to block it and we're going to see what happens. Okay. Because you asked me to, like, rule out a root canal if possible, right? Yeah. That's what I would do. And if it doesn't work, it tells us you need a root canal. Yeah. It's more definitive. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Did it hurt bad? No. Nope. Side effect wise, the worst thing that happens is you bruise a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Where do you feel numb? Just there. Maybe my ear's numb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my ear's numb. Give me an ice water swish. I know you love me. Mm. Is your attempt. It's still there. Just the same? Yeah, just the same. So this feels numb, correct? Yeah. Still awake? Yeah. Give it a couple minutes so she should go too. Yeah, okay. It could be that you just put pain right here that I can't uh, feel this pain. I don't know. It just went away? I don't know. You were having pain a minute ago? And it now was like not? throbbing. I don't know. And now since I injected that, it's gone? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they are numb. Got you right off the bat, did I? Yeah. Okay, swish. Okay. I can still feel it. Yeah, it's not as bad. But I can, yeah, it's still sensitive. You said you were an eight or nine earlier, right? What are Probably you now? Probably like a five. Now it's a five or so. Yeah. It was literally throbbing. It's um, not throbbing anymore? No. What do you think of them apples? <laughs> I'm not crazy, am I? No, and I was having pain up here too. And now you're not? I don't think so. Let's wait and be sure. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Is the throbbing still there? The throbbing's gone. I can feel, like I can feel that there's still something there, like mm -hmm. sensitive. But it's definitely not as bad as it was at all. Give me a swish again. It's been about four minutes since the second block. Zero ten. A five. It's 
It's not it's not lingering at all now, is it? No. But it just like sensitive when it first hits it. Well remember you have a temporary crown on there. Yeah. The temporary is gonna be leaky. Yeah. So that's not really pain right there, is it? Not really. It's just sensitive. Okay, you wanna hear some good news? What? I don't want you to get a root canal yet. You're gonna probably hate me if it does need one ultimately, because it might hurt for, you know, a day or two. But if this was if you were family, I would tell you there I actually might be a reset. If this is what I think it could be, yeah. This innervation comes from what's called the autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. There could be like a reboot, so to speak. In other words, it was pissed off. Now we blocked it. It yeah. allows it to reboot and won't be so angry. It's reversible or is it irreversible? We don't know. Pulpitis means inflammation of the nerve. Yeah. What was potentially an irreversible pulpitis now might become a reversible one. Okay. In other words, it might recover. So it'll continue to get better. I can't could. promise that. It could. I mean. It might. Okay. Almost nobody knows what I just did for you, how to do that and mm -hmm. what it could mean. Yeah. So what it means is if you have this innervation coming in from the neck, what's called sympathetic innervation comes in through the greater auricular nerve, which is what I just numbed for you. Mm -hmm. Sympathetics, what does that mean? Chronic constriction of blood vessel. So if, if for some reason, maybe you're open for many hours and you've kind of, you've got a heightened sympathetic tone. I just rebooted it. I shut it down for a few hours. Now maybe it'll give a chance for the vessels to open again. If you don't get enough oxygen, it can bother you, right? Yeah. So if your vessels are chronically constricted, and I just force them to open again, they might recover. Like a five and it's just sensitive to cold, it's not really a pain. Doesn't linger now. No, no throb. Not at all. It's gone now. There's a chance. Say a prayer. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. What did it do? Tell us. It got really, really bad last night and it was throbbing and I was like, really painful. So I took an ibuprofen and I went to bed. Mm -hmm. And that was like at 10.30. Sure. And so the ibuprofen definitely were you still numb from the neck block at 10.30 or not? I was. I was still numb. And then this morning when I woke up, I had, I've had no pain this morning. Whatsoever. And then probably within the last, like the last 30 minutes, it's just like a little bit of pain, but not nearly as bad. Okay. And I haven't had any ibuprofen since like 12 hours ago. I called you yesterday afternoon. Yeah. I couldn't feel the water. Like I couldn't, it was yeah. not sensitive at but all. But then it came back towards the end of the evening? Yes. But it was still numb in the neck, right? Yes. It was still numb in the neck. So then you popped an ibuprofen, went to bed, woke up this morning, now it's all gone. Yes. So it was a roller coaster up and down. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still like, there's still like, so, like, it's definitely not as bad. I can still feel, maybe it's just the crown, that's the temporary crown that's Could kind be. of like uncomfortable now. Could be. Yeah. And not the nerves and stuff. I so, hope. yeah, me too. Tell me what it does now. That was crazy. Literally last night at five when I did it, I couldn't feel anything. Yeah. That's awesome. Zero ten, what is it now? And you have a temporary crown on. It's a sensitivity, I think, from the temporary crown, the water going underneath, but it's probably like a four. No big deal. And it's gone already. Look, I still can't promise you you don't need a root canal. Yeah. But I can tell you that this is like best case scenario. Okay. A day out, it's ramped down, the switch. So you think it's just sore right now from this this crown that's on my tooth, like the temporary? Yeah. Because I, I don't feel the throbbing pain like it was like in here Yeah. or down here it's I can just feel it's like uncomfortable yeah I'll tell the audience what we did where we put a needle put some needles <laughs> yeah. on the sides of my neck yeah and on this side too sure which actually after you did the injections on this side is when it started to not hurt as much mm -hmm. that's crazy isn't it on the other side the other side so everything's connected I don't know how but yeah that's pretty cool you're on to something so <laughs> <laughs> so you glad you had it done I am I am are you surprised? I mean, I am very surprised. Like this is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. I have told cool many people about it. Yeah, I mean, so. I, I, we can't stop every root canal from happening, but some. Yeah, if there's a chance that it will work chance. on somebody, then you took that chance and you I won. Did I know? At least I for now, and I hope it's perpetual. I, I hope, hope we're gonna. Is too. I'm gonna be an old man. And we're gonna, 20 years from now, you're gonna come in and we're gonna be laughing about it. I'm like, oh look, it worked. I didn't need a root canal for this. <laughs> Well, he's actually like 
he's really, really nice and he knows what he's doing. He just does things differently I than... See. He's me. He seals patients all the time. Yeah. I'm so petty. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you very much.